Well, here we are, folks. It is prime time, November 1st here in Wisconsin. Uh, set the scene here a little bit. What's going on? We got we got dumped on with some snow October 30th. Big cold front coming through. Um, deer movement has been excellent. Uh, checking the cameras, a lot of bucks on their feet. Uh, a lot of deer checking scrapes, pushing does around. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna have hopefully be in for a good week of vacation here. So um, we're gonna be hunting probably around the doe bedding. Um, that's where I like to be this time of year, especially on this piece of property. We have standing beans um, to the north of the property. Uh, so I'm expecting the bucks probably periodically in the morning to check that field for the beans, to check the bean field, uh, looking for does and then coming back to the doe bedding. Um, so that's primarily where you're gonna be seeing me hunting is that doe bedding and hopefully catch up with one of the big boys we're after. We got a couple nice ones we're after. Uh, we got a big wide 11 pointer, a big tall 10. So, um, and then we got an old guy that's a eight pointer that's been around since I started hunting this property. So um, hopefully we can catch up with one of them uh, here this week and uh, expect a good week of hunting. So stay tuned. Brad Evans, Lost Men Outdoors. November 1st, sweet, sweet November. It's the morning hunt. Um, it's about 8.30 now, I couldn't do my pre-interview uh, early because we had deer all over us. Uh, we had a couple big bucks out in the field early. Um, a little bumping some does around, posturing, sparring, working some scrapes. We got a lot of footage of them, so that's pretty cool to see. Um, see how they interact and all that during the rut. Um, seen a couple little bucks, so. Um, it's about, like I said, it's about 8.30. I'm probably going to hit the horns together here. 
shortly and see what happens. So stay tuned. Hopefully something good will come out of this morning yet. Guys, we got him. We got him. Oh man, we freaking got him. I don't know if he's on camera or not. I don't know if he was in screen. I have no idea. That deer wore me out this morning. I probably have an hour of video of him, maybe. He's been out in the field, bean field, back and forth, in and out, chasing does since. 15 minutes after light finally finally he just ditched all the deer and worked his way right in 40 yards boom got him oh man holy cow what a morning what a freaking morning saw Back to the morning now, saw nine bucks, three different shooters, six does, unbelievable. One of the best mornings I've ever had in the tree. Can't tell if it's October or can't tell if it's November or January with all the snow on the ground. What a morning, what a morning.
All right, guys, well, here he is. Got him drug out. Just a mammoth of a deer. He's got big stubble splits on his brows, heavy mass all the way through. Probably 18, 17, 18 inches wide. Just a slob, old deer, huge body, huge head, huge neck. I couldn't be happier with him. Um, my first day of my vacation, I got 10 more days off, so this is gonna be a, a nice, relaxing vacation. Um, and I like, uh, I like to thank my wife for allowing me to do this. She puts up with a lot of stuff that you know, a lot of people don't put up with because I do like to hunt and I hunt a lot and I do a lot of a lot of hunting. So I love you, babe. Thanks for putting up with me and putting up with my passion and allowing me to chase those big whitetails. So um, hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, as always, never quit your pursuing your passion. Lostman Outdoors.